Kwame the Clown Brown. You disrespecting the king right now? I watched Kwame Brown. He did a video on YouTube. He was giving Jalen Rose some credit. Now, Jalen Rose, probably maybe eight or ten years ago, was on first tape going back and forth with Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless. And Kwame Brown's name was referenced in that um, show, which was like eight to ten years ago. But someone sent it to Kwame Brown, and he's referencing like it's brand new. He's giving Jalen Rose all of these props. He's getting that Skip Bayless and all this stuff. The interview was so old. So I'm like... How out of touch are you that this happened years ago, talking about you specifically, and now you want to speak on it? But then he want to bring LeBron James into the mix because y'all heard about LeBron James. He violated the NBA's health and safety protocol. He attended this uh, promotional event uh, promoting his tequila brand earlier this week, and it violated the protocol rules. Now, LeBron is not going to be suspended. Kwame wants to bring that up, and he wants to reference that um, and feeling like LeBron got special privileges because he didn't get suspended, but he gave another reference. I can't remember what it was, but anyway, it was just out of pocket. Keep LeBron James out, name out your mouth, Kwame the Crown Brown. You've been doing so much cloud chasing. I knew it was only a matter of time before you try to buck with the king. We ain't even going to get into careers, numbers. Both of y'all was number one draft picks, and we already know where your career went and where his career is. Like, don't even play. Don't even play. I don't want you to butter nothing up. And then you're just a big hypocrite. You talk about you don't want to violence. You're going to run across the street. If you see Matt Barnes and, and Steven Jackson, you don't want no smoke when it comes to violence. But now you in this video talking about they better check in with you before they do their show next month when they come down to ATL, I think. And you're just doing a whole lot of capping and clout chasing. And it's we got all these fans of Kwame Brown all of a sudden. When the hell did Kwame Brown ever get a fan base? Ever get a fan base? Like, cut it out, man. You really starting to be a geek. And I really don't care what he do and what he talk about. You know what I'm saying? Any man got a right to defend himself. But when you start to get out of line and talk about the king, LeBron, man, please. Kwame, don't even do it to yourself. Kwame. The numbers speak for itself. This guy did not play good at all, and he did not work on his game. He really think ESPN sent Stephen A. Smith to different colleges to talk about him. This guy's crazy. Stephen A. Smith get paid by those schools to come and do lectures and speeches and all that. He used you as an example because of you being in the league for a dozen years and you didn't work harder on your footwork, on your post moves, on your, on your game. That's a fact. Your numbers speak for itself. He really think ESPN quarterback that whole situation. They might have green lighted it. You know what I'm saying? Stephen A. is an employee. But you just be tripping. And that happened so long ago. You had so much time to address this. This is why I said you cloud chasing. Get it together, Kwame. And keep LeBron's name out your mouth. Please. You talking to, you be disrespecting a lot of champions. You disrespecting a lot of champions. I'm just waiting for you to come out your mouth sideways to Michael Jordan. You testing the waters. You testing the waters. But you know when it comes to shock value, that's what's going to get you to, over the hump when you talk about MJ. But you also know once you do that, it's a wrap. Because you ain't going to get no deals with no big publications. You know Michael got reach. So enjoy your little 15 minutes of fame. Don't ever disrespect the king. You do not wear this crown. This crown is too heavy for your head. 17 years old, number one draft pick. You couldn't hold the torch, man. It is what it is. You are now rocking with the best of seven people. This is the best of seven sports talk. I'm Seven Mitchell. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Let me know what y'all thought about the Milwaukee Bucks game beating the Miami Heat in game one. And this clown Kwame Brown, man, still clout chasing. Now you want to talk about the King LeBron James. You know I don't play that stuff. You're Bang. going to get to 30,000 points, and because you are the best passer in basketball, it's pretty easy to get to 8,000 <coughs> assists. And because you're 6'9", 260, it's pretty easy. You should get to 8,000 rebounds because you were born to get to 8,000 rebounds. Well, dang, so am, am I impressed by any of this? No. Skip, just shut your ass up. Uh -oh. God uh -oh. damn. Uh -oh. You know what surprises me? The fact that you've been doing these shows for years and you've yet to give a realistic take. Get them. Come on now.